field. I'm changing the batteries and all the smoke detectors in my house to make sure that they're going to be working in case there's ever a fire. Smoke from fire spreads very fast. And when the smoke from a fire sets off this alarm, we all know we have to get out quickly and call 911 from outside. Smoke and the poisonous gases in the smoke are very dangerous. Most people who are hurt in fires are hurt by the smoke and poisonous gases, not the flames. Do you know that if there's a fire, getting down low and moving out quickly under the smoke could save your life? My dad and my brother went to a special firefighting training center and they learned that lesson and they want you to know how dangerous the smoke and gases in fires can be. Hi, I'm Frank Field and this is my sunstorm. Last time we showed you how fires are black and taught you how to be prepared and to stay calm. Now we'd like to tell you about smoke. This is artificial smoke. This fake smoke isn't dangerous. It's made by a fog and smoke machine. It's the same smoke you see in the movies or on TV. So many kids and grown-ups are fooled into thinking that smoke is really not harmful. But smoke in a real fire is dangerous. The kind of smoke you see pouring out of these windows, this is real smoke. It's full of dirt and poisonous gas. It can make people sick. Now, we've all smelled smoke coming from a fire. Perhaps it's a bonfire on the outside, or from food on a stove, or even cigarette smoke. That doesn't seem dangerous, does it? But it can be. It all depends on what's burning and how much smoke there is. When there is a bonfire outdoors, controlled by grown-ups, smoke, gases, and heat drift up into the air. Outdoors, smoke disappears into the air because there's so much open space. But what happens to smoke when a fire starts inside a building? Let's use this dollhouse to show you what can happen inside any building when there is a fire. The fire starts in the corner of a room downstairs. It's only a small flame, but grows rapidly. Smoke from the fire has not yet spread to other rooms in the house. If the room where the fire started had a smoke detector, it would have sounded an early warning alarm. It only takes seconds for a fire to go out of control. Now only trained firefighters can put this fire out. Hot smoke and gases rise to the ceiling. There's still air to breathe down by the floor. Getting low would help you escape. Smoke is now drifting into other rooms. Smoke and hot air rise to the ceiling. Down low under the smoke, the air is still cool. In the burning room, the fire grows fast. Walls and ceilings are now burning and the room is darkening. Now the smoke is entering rooms where the doors were left open. The air in those rooms, down by the floor, is still breathable. The door in this room is closed, and it's helping keep the fire and smoke out, for now. The room where the fire began is ablaze and turning black. It's only taken minutes, and the smoke traveling through the walls and hallways is filling all the rooms. Remembering to get low and go, and not panic, everyone who lives in this house is outside and safe. And now, when the firefighters arrive to find smoke coming out of the windows and all openings, they don't have to risk their lives entering the burning building to search for anyone who might be trapped inside. It's taken minutes, and the entire building is filled with black smoke, intense heat, and poisonous gases. And if you breathe the smoke from that kind of fire, it will make you ill. Even firefighters who breathe this smoke get sick. But when firefighters do enter buildings to rescue people and fight a fire, they always wear face masks to protect themselves against the smoke. In addition, they carry tanks of fresh air on their backs and breathe that fresh air through a mask. It's a dangerous job. This fire was set by a child who played with matches. Firefighters must risk their lives every day. Firefighters know that children and older people are the ones who are most often injured in a fire because children and seniors are not as strong and as quick as grown-ups. Firefighters also know that smoke can be the greatest danger in a fire. Smoke kills more people than the actual fire. Most people die from smoke rather than from fire. Ninety percent of the people we run into look like they're asleep, except their faces are dirty from the soot because they've died from the gases. They're not touched by the flame. So avoid breathing too much dangerous smoke. Don't stand up with your head in the hot smoke. Get down low and go. Down on the floor, the air is cooler and cleaner. That's what one 12-year-old boy did in this fast-moving fire. When smoke and flames filled his bedroom, Anthony did the right thing and saved his sister and himself. 
got on my knees and I crawled in my mom's room and I told my sister to get low. I was scared and then he said, do you want to doubt? Anthony and his sister escaped the fire because Anthony stayed cool and knew the rule. Get low and go. But often children panic, don't know what to do or do the wrong thing. Sometimes they try to hide from the fire or waste time looking for things and wait too long to get out. Sometimes it's because they never had a fire drill at home. They become confused, don't know how to deal with this emergency. They breathe too much smoke as this boy did and become unconscious. He was saved by firefighters. It wasn't the fire that hurt him, it was the smoke. Most people get hurt by the smoke, it's not actually the fire. It's smoke and not the fire that generally knocks people out. And it was smoke that killed a mother and her eight-year-old son while they slept. There were no smoke detectors in the house to wake them and warn them of the fire. Firefighters and emergency workers tried in vain to save them. Why is smoke so dangerous? You know when you're enjoying the outdoors and take deep breaths, you're inhaling fresh air with lots of healthy oxygen. That word inhaling is important. It means breathing in air. Sometimes you inhale smoke from food cooking on a barbecue, or you inhale wood smoke from a fireplace. Or if there's someone smoking and you inhale smoke that's not pleasant at all. Sometimes smoke can have a nasty bitter odor from burning trash. To most kids, smoke does not seem harmful except for maybe the smells, but they are wrong. Sometimes it's the things that are burning that make the smoke poisonous. Just look at what's left after a fire. Everything burned blackened, charred. The intense heat of a fire as hot as a thousand degrees burns plastics, wood, melts glass and metal. And whenever this happens, the air becomes filled with many kinds of poisonous gases carried in the smoke. No matter what burns, there is one thing in all fires that can make you sick or even kill you. It's like air. You can't see it. You can't smell it. It's a gas called carbon monoxide. Everything that burns sends carbon monoxide into the air. Cars and trucks burn gasoline, and carbon monoxide comes out of the tailpipes. Even fires on stoves give off carbon monoxide into the air. It's everywhere. Luckily, most of it disappears into the air and doesn't harm us, because normally there is so little carbon monoxide in the air we breathe. But in a fire, there is so much carbon monoxide in the smoke, it can harm us. When you inhale fresh air, your lungs are filled with healthy oxygen that travels to all parts of your body. Your brain needs that oxygen to remain alert and healthy. But in a fire, there is so much carbon monoxide in smoke that inhaling the smoke full of carbon monoxide will block the healthy oxygen from getting to your lungs and to your brain. Without oxygen, the brain goes to sleep. People inhaling smoke full of carbon monoxide don't realize that they're falling into a deep, deep sleep. With no oxygen, the brain stops working. That's why a smoke detector is so important to warn you of this dangerous smoke full of carbon monoxide and other dangerous gases. The importance of a smoke detector is it's your first warning against the fire.